video actually comes by a request specifically about C data and how to do custom or I should say export custom reports from QuickBooks Online using C data and more specifically about a trial balance report. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump in, we're going to go right into Excel, open up Excel and we've got, we're assuming the C data adapter has already been installed. So we'll just go to a blank worksheet. And I should say the company file we're about to open up is a fake company file. So there's no worries about uh, data integrity by showing you this. So I've gone to C data tab at the top here. I'm going to from QuickBooks Online. Now by doing this, choosing the company I want to go to, doo -doo -doo -doo, there we go. There's a couple things to pay attention to. When you're setting up a new company file connection, one of the things that I always do is at the very bottom here, location, I actually choose to set this to a folder I create under documents C data because any kind of custom mapping or reporting that you do like this, if you set that same place for all the different companies, you can use that custom report across those companies. So we'll come back. I'm going to go back to my company we were just doing. And now I'm going to go through, because if you've already tried to um, pull spe uh, specific reports, you're going to see them in here. So traditionally, we would see a trial balance report, of course, that would be inside of here. But we also have the ability we can make something custom. So if we come back to the top here, we'll go to Find Table. We're going to go choose the base report we want, the trial balance report. Now you're going to want to name this something unique that you're going to know, but you need to do something that also will fall in line with what they'll let you do. So we'll go August 1. And in description, we'll go TB till August 1. We're going to choose our accounting method on this one of accrual. And we're going to do our start dates in here and end date. So we're going to set up 01. 012019 and then 08012019. Summarize the columns by totals and the locale is primarily if you're using um, locations outside of the United States and if you haven't already set in the main settings. So now we'll set create with successfully defined. Now hit finish. Now the key is if we come back into here again and we come down, we're going to notice we still do not see that table or that special report that we're trying to do. So what you need to do is we'll come up here. We're going to actually close all the way out of Excel and then come back to it. Now, perhaps see that has a different way of doing this, but it's just something I've noticed that this is how it works. Open Excel back up. And once I have it open, blank worksheet, boom, C data from QuickBooks Online, choose my company again. And now if we scroll down, we'll see our trial balance report, August 1 view. We're going to select it. I always do a minus one here because this will make sure that if you have a very long chart of accounts, that you're able to pull all of the details instead of just the first hundred lines. Make sure you have a different name here for pulling multiples and click OK. Once this pulls through, so we have a total of 142516.3. Now back here, if I come back to this, we're going to see August 1st, 142516.30. So it does match. Just to prove the point though, 930, different amount, and then 111, same thing. So that's the best way to go and create a custom report by that date. Now, part of the reason that works, again, I told you about the special folder that you create. So in my documents, C data, we now see in here that RSD uh, file, which is really the, the structure of that report. If you go through and you do this a whole bunch, you can and make mistakes. You can literally go into here, delete all of these, 
open it back up, and those reports would disappear from the pop down. So I hope this video showing you how you can do a custom report using C data was helpful. And uh, if it, you liked it, be sure to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Reach out if you've got additional questions. We're more than happy to help you out. And as always, here's wishing you a very successful week.